All right, everybody. All right, this is Zane with Really Easy AI and more news. Um, so this came out not too long ago. Claude AI now connects to external tools for real-time data. So we're starting to see Claude continue to evolve. It's already pretty badass. I got to admit, I'm starting to use it more and more. Uh, I like it a lot. And so um, let's dig into this. Oh, let me accept the cookies so they can track me. All right, so uh, Anthropic AI has rolled out a beta mode, enabling users to incorporate external tools into the AI model under Claude. The AI can now access data in real time and seamlessly integrate uh, necessary supplementary services from third-party providers in the conversation. Now, I do want to point out, this is just for the API, not for the regular Claude interface. So you can't just hop into Claude uh, through the normal interface and just start playing with this is strictly API type activity. Uh, in the past, Claude used web searches to find information which could be unreliable. Um, yes, uh, previously users had to add code snippets to their API interface to connect external tools. Now they can easily connect to real-time data sources such as cryptocurrency exchange rates, which of course, you know, this is a crypto time, so of course they want to mention that. Um, then they mentioned a few other things, but Interestingly enough, uh, here we go. According to Anthropic, all available Claude AA models can currently handle a high volume of tool requests. The models can accurately choose from over 250 tools provided the user query contains all necessary parameters for the intended tool with an accuracy of over 90%. Um, it's important to remember that Claude is a general chatbot and does not have the ability to provide financial advice, blah, blah, blah. It's crypto time scrap. Anyway, all right, so good overview, I think. Uh, now, if we actually go to where they make the announcement, which is way up here. I don't know why I didn't have it at the top here. Um, so here they make the announcement, and I will include all the links in the description. Uh, tool use public beta, uh, 4th of April. We're excited to announce that tool use is now in public beta. To access, you'll need to include uh, Anthropic beta tools in your header if you're doing it like through curl or something. Uh, if you're just doing it through Python, they've got an update to the uh, Anthropic package, so you can just do it through here. Normally, just uh, you peg on the beta, and you should be good to go. Now, I had some interesting problems with that early on, but I guess it was something I was doing, and I want to talk about that real quick. So they do talk about a little further down. They talk about the tool use and how to use it. I won't get into detail. I'll let you dig into that, or maybe we do a special on it later on. But later on, they do talk about the cookbook uh, that they introduce. It's somewhere in here. I forget where it is. It's buried in here somewhere. But they do mention the cookbook, for this and they mentioned some examples man hang on let me find it. it's gonna drive me crazy now if i don't find it because they had some uh they had some links to it, it like three links in a row let me find it way down in here is it at the bottom yeah here it is at the very bottom next steps so at the very bottom of the article you got some using a calculator with claude which is the one i wanted to do because i thought that'd be a cool one to show you but creating a customer service agent extracting structured json but here's what happened when I went to the cookbook um, and clicked on the calculator one, it actually threw an error. Now, this time it's not throwing an error. I can't tell you why. All right, so, okay, there it is. Um, uh, and so they show how to do it. This isn't the one I got, though. Uh, I thought this, was, uh, this would be a cool one to do, but I, I guess it errored out for some reason. But the one I wound up getting and trying out was this one. Now, um, you can download these, right? So if you just come here and download these, you can put them into your um, into Visual Studio Code. I guess I'll do that real quick. Let me go ahead and just download this. I'm going to pause for a minute because I've been – sometimes when I pop up my uh, – uh, my well, no, I have it here. Never mind. I was going to say sometimes when I pop up my file um, – my list of files in my directories, it gives me a problem. It's not doing it today. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and try it then. Uh, I just downloaded that, and then I'm just going to click and drag that calculator tool, Jupyter Notebook, into um, Visual Studio Code. Uh, I'm going to select the proper kernel, for me anyway, and I'm going to clear all outputs, and we're going to run all, see what happens. So it's, it's going to try to install. I already have it installed, so it should say everything's satisfied, which it does. Uh, it's going to get the model stuff good. It's going to run this. Okay, so let's go through this. 
Uh, so step one, you know, connect to Claude, obviously. That's what we're doing here. Install the Anthropic stuff, connect, you know, create a client, basically set up your variables. You're not connecting yet. Uh, step two, we'll define a simple calculator tool that can perform basic arithmetic. This tool will take a mathematical expression in and return the results. So it's just function calling. So here we define a function, calculate expression, remove any non-digit stuff with a regular expression, evaluate the expression, so they do some math. And then they define, this is kind of the kings to the kingdom here. They define the tools here. It's got to be properly defined. Um, so we do that. And then, uh, this is the tools variable, by the way. So when we do the call, it'll show up again. In this example, we define a calculation function, removes any non blah, blah, blah. Uh, we then define the calculator tool with an input schema that expects a single expression property of type string. So it takes a single string in and you know, spits out some stuff. So interact with Claude. Now we do, you know, now let's see how Claude's interact with the calculator tool. Uh, we do another uh, pro uh, function here, process tool, got it. Chat with Claude, give it the user message. And then you see here client beta tools message create. It goes through, um, we pass it in, do a whole bunch of fun stuff here, we'll get too deep. And then we try it out. So let's see if the darn thing works. What is the result of 1,984, let's uh, see, 1,984,135 times 9,343,116? Okay, so we're bringing that in, pulling out the text, doing the math, and away it goes. Um, initial response, uh, stop reason tool use uh, content. Uh, the user is asking for the result of multiplying two large numbers. This can be accomplished using calculator tool. To use the calculator tool, we need to provide a mathematical. So you can see here, it reasons that it needs to use the tool. And then it, it, it you know, it, it found the correct tool to use. All right, I'm going to call the calculator tool. And then it calls the calculator tool, gives it the input, the expression and then gets the result back from the tool. So it's calling the function and getting a result back. Final response, the calculator uh, has the capability to handle multiplication, so no further information is needed. So, boop, there it is. Uh, well, actually, I guess the result would be passed back. We didn't do that in this case. He's just showing you everything that's going on, but you'd ultimately pass back the response. Same thing here. We see how it reasons, and then it goes on from there. Um, and then it, it looks like it parses out. So blah, 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 divided by blah, blah, blah equals blah. So um, that is, let's open the text editor and see that in all of its glory. Yeah, equals blah. So this one, the final result, uh, that's the thinking, but it should have, should have spit out the result. This one did, therefore, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so blah blah blah. So this one's final result didn't quite come out the way we thought it should. It's kind of interesting, but anyway, it's not perfect. It's still in beta, but you can see it's it's doing what it's supposed to be doing, which is basically tool use in this case means function calling. Create a function, have it call whatever that that function does. That function can do any number of things, and then it returns a result back to the model. So the model can continue, continue to do what it does best. So I thought you guys would like to see that real quick run through. Uh, it is uh, now confirmed that we can use function calling, uh, tool use, if you will, in um, uh, in Claude. Uh, it's in beta. You will be able to do more with it as they go forward. I'm looking forward to it. Really looking forward to them adding more functionality to the interface too. You know the standard Claude interface, but. We'll see that when it comes. Anyway, I'll give links to all this stuff so you guys can get to the articles, um, this uh, help here, and to the cookbook so you don't have to click around for it. And uh, try it out yourself. All right, boys and girls, this is Zane. I'll see you next time.